Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Seven Days. Valencia, it's me, JD. Says, hey, how you doing? I spent the night over here because I had to do some stuff. And most of my goodies are over here now. And it was a fairly quiet night. There was one screamer. Uh, I do have the sniper rifle on me. If I needed to go out and take care of her, I had didn't have to, so... She was just up top because I haven't opened up the portion that will prevent her from screaming. Yeah, the spikes. I haven't put the spikes to work yet. But she's still there. She's kind of screwed because she, uh, she's like right over there. She fell in the hole and <laughs> just stood in front of my base up in front of the iron bars just screaming at me all night. I didn't really care. Whatever. Oh, hi. Is it a nurse over here? I don't have the nurse challenge with me. Damn it. One time I don't bring it. Oh, okay. One time I don't bring the nurse challenge with me. I find nurses. Okay, well, whatever. I need all your guts and goo. I'm going to stab your ass. I do need their guts and goo. Uh, there's more than one. It looks like a little bit of a troop was coming through here on uh, speed running over. I'm guessing they uh, had a little problem. No friends? No friends. I could use the scrap, and I'll always take the motor oil. All right, well, it's a little dark out first thing in the morning. So I did, before I get crazy on stuff, I did have an idea for these lights. So I'm going to do one first, and then we'll see how it turns out. So I was thinking... What I really wanted to do uh, was double lights, like you see on the highway. But I'm like, oh, I probably can't do that. All right, I need to pick out the axe here. Forget how many I need. All right, let's get some wood frames up. Swap this one out. Let's get some wood frames, just so I can stack this up quickly. And buckle my shoe. There we go. Oh, it's six high. I forgot about that. Because I, I do, do ah, I do want to be able to uh, see the lights. And for whatever reason, from the top of my house, from uh, top of my base, uh, the draw distance is just far enough where it doesn't work. So if I do this... Oh, I forgot it's out here somewhere. There we go. I figured that'll light it up a bit better. Uh, I should probably upgrade this. There we go. Get the whole thing. Uh... Can't reach that one. And for some reason, not that one. Okay, can I uh, jump up here? Haha. -ha. Thought you had me, but you did not. Yeah, and I figure you can do that with both both of these. Uh, so I should do one right here. Do the same deal. Pop this out. Pop this in. I don't heard PC steps. Okay, go ahead and upgrade that. And I'm going to need... How many more of these am I going to need? 14 more. No, wait. It's 12. I need 10 more. Duh. Okay, let me go to... Not that. This. Oh, this. And I need uh, 10 of these. Easy enough. One, zero. Because I need 12 total. Pop these out for right now. And pop 
put that back in there. And I need these in... Damn it. So much stuff I need to swap around every now and then. Alright. Let's get them in there. Good news is I can just use the uh, pole to stack them on top of each other. Okay, that's exactly where I wanted that one. Sure. Yeah, see, I can just do this. Okay, let's uh, swap the poles out. Swap these back in. Let's go ahead and uh, probably have to do this again. Get that one up here. Okay, and let's uh, swap this around. Turn it on. Let's go down. Actually, stop right there. Almost forgot to upgrade it. There we go. That works out a little bit better, I think. Lights it up a little bit more. Okay, so let's continue on with this portion right here. So let's pop the crap we're not using right out. Uh, let's pop the shovel in. And concrete, we'll just combine those two. Keep these around in case I need them. And I think I have everything I need. Okay. So let's go ahead and start shoveling more out. Second half of the video will be just going over and fixing the uh, cord base a little bit. We're going to do one more cord night over there before we open this joint for business. I figured I wanted to use up the concrete I have because I'm going to be running a little low. I only got one more stack of a thousand in the base, so that kind of sucks. Okay. Sure, why you didn't want to go, but sure. If I angle too low, I knock an extra piece out, and I don't want to do that. There we go, and let's just go right along here. It's a little uh, sand and stuff there every now and then, so. Do this big ass hole, get this done, and then we'll see where we're at. But I do like how uh, I figured if I did them back to back, kind of like again, like highway lights, you know, that uh, the ones that are in the intersection portion, it would look better. That was my thought process on that, but who knows. But one of the things I did want is I wanted concrete all around. And for whatever reason, it does seem to make them not walk slower, but keep them steady. So they're not bouncing around dealing with the, uh, uh, the I guess, the vagaries, you could call it. But uh, basically just dealing with the terrain screwing around. Now that I got this open, you can just go in a big-ass circle. And again, for those of you going, use the auger. Hell no. You guys see what that uh, what the auger does to the uh, desert area. It just makes a big-ass mess. Also, I, I, Alley Cat did verify that the axe, the Taza's axe, is in the desert. So uh, I have to keep an eye open. Uh, if anybody's really familiar with Valencia, just tell me if that axe is on this map because uh, they weren't sure if it was all maps you know if it's always on the map or just sometimes it's in a specific rock formation i suppose i could use the treasure uh, if i use the treasure chest that would prob probably uh denote it somewhere i like how i get a little bit of sand and stone occasionally too I could have swore I heard PT steps. And this is a dog kind of day, so I got to keep an eye out every once in a while. Make sure I don't get any dogs. Why are you being a bitch? Get out of there. 
course, keep going this way. Don't worry, it'll get shorter as we go all the way around. Start getting easier and easier. Or smaller and smaller. It's like Minecraft when you want to put in a, uh, a floor. So I'm also thinking of, uh, I finally got around to reconnecting uh, Twitch. I don't often stream, but I figure I'm going to do the streams there. Tentatively speaking, tentatively speaking, I haven't come up with anything 100% to stream yet. Obviously, the only game I really stream every once in a while is Honkai. Uh, but I've been jonesing to, to play Stardew Valley again. I'm just kind of on the fence because I know uh, Concerned Dave said he was gonna, they were going to do an update, 1.6. But we don't have a release date for it yet. So, tentatively speaking, I said that word again, uh, I'm thinking that I will live stream on Sundays in the afternoon, Eastern time. That's what I'm thinking right now. I don't know yet. And I think it's going to be Stardew Valley for right now. So they just can't think of anything I really want to stream for long periods of time. I think it's going to be, I'm going to try for Sunday and Thursdays. Now, the sad part is, uh, this video will go live after I've made that decision. So if you don't know my Twitch channel, I believe it's it should be linked on my website uh, on uh, YouTube. Um, or if you just watch the VOD, you'll know where it's from. But you can follow me over on Twitch and uh, see when I go live. I, but I'm thinking Sundays, definitely. Thursdays, maybe. That's when I did my stream. I, I'd say the long stream to be Sunday, and if there's a stream Thursday, it'll be around an hour. But the Sunday one, because Sunday is my deep day off. I call it the deep day because I don't got to get, get, get up the next day, so I get to enjoy the day off. And also, you know, there'll always be pirate streams and everything, you know, uh, every once in a while, but... Uh, I want to make it a regular thing, just like I do for you guys with Seven Days to Die. You always know every morning there's going to be a new Seven Days to Die video, so you always have something to tune into. It's one of the mistakes I made early, and uh, which burnt me out, by the way, is overdoing it and uh, not being consistent. Uh, that stream I put up for Honkai had no views, which is fine. Um, because I hadn't streamed on Twitch, I think in like two, three years. It was pretty bad. Because remember, I took a lot of downtime on this channel. And I came back when I was at 180, 156 subs, I think. And I started going uh, to town on this channel. I came back because I, I wanted to play Seven Days to Die for whatever reason. And I wanted to stream it again. And I did Ruby. And that went a whole lot of episodes. You guys remember that. And then I just decided to keep going. And I became consistent. I made it into my habit. These are the days I record. Uh, usually Friday, Saturday. Friday night, Saturday night. And Sunday early morning when I get up. And then I have the rest of the week off. And if I do a stream, it's usually Sunday, uh, Sunday afternoon. Sometimes, some, sometime between like Eastern time, like between 10 and 2 on a Sunday. I don't like streaming on Mondays because I have to, uh, Tuesdays are my very, very, very early day and the beginning of my work week, IRL. So I'm not a fan of, you know, trying to, I don't like falling behind either, so unless I'm sick or something and I just can't talk or whatever, I try to stick to the schedule. Because it also gives me time to just game on my own. You know, do, uh, do the games I want to play, like Yakuza or um, when Dragon's Dogma comes out, if I don't feel like streaming that, which I might not. I don't 
really like streaming games or recording games that I'm playing, I'll do a one-off and play a little for you guys, but I, I won't, like, I can't do, I suppose I could, but I don't like doing Let's Plays when I'm having, not fun, I guess, but when I'm, you know, going into it for the story and everything, I, I, you know, I want to watch all the cutscenes. It's something like Yakuza, you're talking, those are long-ass cutscenes, and there's a lot of them. Dragon's Dogma, I'm not sure on. Question mark? We'll see. All right, well, we got this done. That was the main thing we wanted to do today. Get this done. Get one side completely done, and next on the hit list is going to be worrying about the other side. This is really just for my peace of mind. Because, um, again, it makes it so for them to walk towards my base, they have to, uh, if they walk over a nice flat surface where it's not easy to hide, you know, if they summon a crawler, there's no grass. You know, and that's kind of the reason for the lights, too. If they try and hide in the lights, it's not going to work out for them. Just saying. Unfortunately, it is resource intensive, but hey, we're doing this, man. We might as well use up the resources, right? Might as well use up the resource. That's what's it, what they're there for, you know? All right. Let me just come around here. And then I'll check my, uh, I'll do some upgrading. You know, upgrade. I'll upgrade some stuff. And we'll take a look and see. Oh, shut up! Just, Always bitching just, that you're cold. She's literally hovering around 45 degrees. Literally hovering, hovering around 45 degrees. Ah, I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm like, you'll live. Go warm up. All you need is some hot cocoa. Really? The one thing I really want to get up, though, is the last light. I see I missed one. I definitely did. But I'm happy I got the primary base up and running. I mean, it's workable. I can stay here at night. It's just because I haven't uncovered the spikes yet. I do have to keep a low profile around. But they can't see me. You know, even if she walks right up to the bars, if I choose not to go out and deal with her, she can't see where I am. So, it's a pretty good base. I mean... And it's a crawler, so they won't really hit on the bars. But if I don't go out there, she won't scream. If she doesn't scream, nobody else comes in. So she's kind of ineffective, you know. She can just sit out there, be nosy. And again, I usually uh, end it on the on the morning. So I'll, uh, you know, once I log off from you guys uh, on a close on a night, if it's not a horde night, I'll just finish up whatever the hell I was doing, uh, maybe bake some stuff, and then the next time I log on, it's time for daylight, you know? We come out and we just get this show on the road. Occasionally I'll be lazy, and I just won't do the nighttime. I'll use the nighttime as a, you know, if I'm not 100% certain what I want to do. But this time around, I knew I wanted to put these lights in, so I had a plan coming in. But if I don't have a clue, yeah, I'll just save the night off. And it's like, okay, what am I going to do next episode? You know what? Let me just let me just log on next time uh, from the beginning of the night. And then we'll just figure it out from there while I'm waiting for the night to end. I'll make up whatever I need, replace whatever tools I need, and uh, think about what I'm going to do. 
But the, the stupid double light idea I had literally came from, uh, I was just thinking about it, because you guys know I do not like the artificial lighting, uh, just because uh, just seeing it last night in game, you know, when I walked out onto the base at like, I want to say like midnight, just to see what it looked like. And it's just everything with torches is so much better. <laughs> Looks so much better. It's just like, bro, why do you like this game, you know? To the point where I wish we had more options with torches, to, to be fair. That would be really cool. If you just go around and find something cool to put up, uh, you know, like tiki torches or something with a, like, even with, a, maybe with a different frames. I mean, obviously I've seen Alpha uh, 21 and it's also because of the color palette and everything has been, for those of you who don't know, if you haven't seen the computer one, uh, the PC version, it's so much brighter that it's much more detailed. I don't know how performance is. We'll find out. Uh, I believe they have an Australian te team that Fun Pimps contracted to do the console. So we'll hopefully not get anything as bad as the uh, poor Xbox over there with the, uh, what is that, the MD8, MD5 error? I forget which one. I think a PlayStation can get that. I think I got it once, like, long ago, but I never got it on Ruby. So, I'm not sure if that's a thing. I definitely know it's going to happen to you on Xbox. It's just definitely a nasty thing that happens to the Xbox. So. Don't worry, we're going to upgrade them all, but... I wanted to get these done first. Like so. Just so we could get that other light in. Alright, now we can finally put the other light in. And then we can just go get these portals out. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm going to use a lot of concrete doing this, but let's uh, bop these bad boys in as high up as we can go. <laughs> Shut up, woman. Oh, my God. You're constantly cold. Uh, not right here. Not right here. Right here is a bad part. I, I don't have to switch to wooden frames. of the constantly being cold group. Let's get this little light down. I'm going to have to make a... I don't know. I might have to make a few more because I do want to replicate this on the other side of the base, facing out. Alright, I'm just get this hammer up and just upgrade these. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's get a... Uh, doing this. At least until we run out, which might be soon. You never know. Again, I do have another thousand in the base, but that'll completely strap me for uh, concrete after that. But again, I do have the facility the means available and the facilities to make more and they are in the process just... what i actually do lack is uh kind of resources i'm gonna have to literally spend an episode half of it in the mines and half of it uh half of it in the mines and half of it over at the desert just getting a crap ton of sand and stone get this show on the road you know This is not the, my first rodeo putting down a flooring, obviously. Let's 
Sometimes it doesn't want to hit. It's like, ah, eh, you didn't really want to do, do that. Yeah, see, that was 1,300 concrete. I'm going to go grab the last 1,000, might as well. And I guess we'll far, uh, harvest up the farm and replant that. Have I? It, whoa, easy, J.D., don't, don't go crazy. And I still haven't gotten around to planting over here. I really should do that. I really should. I really should. I say it every episode and every episode I forget to harvest it. But then again, I barely uh, touched my uh, cornbread. So what I really need to do is start picking up goldenrod again and turn that into seed so I can make a goldenrod farm. I did spend last night over here, though, so I did clean these out. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Clean them out. I left the one with the stuff I got to sell at some point. That one's fine. I'm going to grab the last of that concrete and just upgrade until I run out. And then I'll make more later. All right. Last of the concrete is not in here. I don't know why I went and looked in here. But I did, because I'm special. But I do have the junk drawer set up. Actually, might as well eat these now and see where I'm at. Oh, I'm not too bad. I thought I was worse. Thought I was worse. Okay, let's, uh, uh, junk drawer, junk drawer. Uh, not this one. This one. That's the junk drawer. That's where this crap goes. The dirt, stuff like that. And then sand, obviously sand and dirt go in here. Uh, smelting, just drop off the lead, and I guess the iron. Don't have a lot of that either. Uh, let's go grab the, I had to get rid of this one just because it was so much of a pain in the ass getting to my wood. Let me strip out the last of the concrete there. It was so much of a pain just getting the concrete out. Um, give me a second, I'm looking uh, where's my et explosives? Uh, over here. It's all crap I picked up. I don't know why I'm having trouble hitting buttons, but I am. Alright, and, uh, there was one other thing I wanted to... I guess I could just drop these off in here for now. They don't really matter. Alright, I know I'm forgetting something. Oh, I wanted to check real quick. What am I at for goldenrod seed? Only four. All right, I'm going to have to go farm up some goldenrod, too, so we can plant that up. So once I run out of this concrete, we'll uh, grab some goldenrod. And then we'll start moseying over to the horde base. I'm not moving my bedroll. I, uh, everybody kept telling me just to throw a bedroll in there and nothing will spawn. The whole point is I don't want to spawn in on that, though. Like, they, they, if they tear that out from under me, the last thing I want to do is respawn in the house. I'd rather spawn at my uh, work base and hide in there until uh, it's safe to come out and grab my, uh, my gear, you know? Let's do a little bit more, see how much we can get. We shouldn't need a ton more, but we are going to need a bunch just to, for various repairs and stuff. That will be a thing. I figured I'd knock out and see how many we can fix. Thousand should be a hundred of them, so and I used quite a few though. Oh shut up with that. I'm cold crap. You're not cold, you'll live. Nobody ever died of hypothermia. Uh yeah, okay, another thousand will clean that up. But that's roughly it. And then this whole area will be nice and even, and then all I have to do is come over here and cut this out a little bit okay so let's go drop some stuff off 
And then we'll uh, we'll do a wide ranging path. I'm sitting here pointing my finger like you guys can see. Uh, we'll do a wide ranging path around just to see how many golden rods we can grab. I should have known that was going to happen as soon as I ran down the hill like a freaking idiot. Oh, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, whatever. That's why JD has splints. I'll probably have to fix that at some point. Maybe put some stairs in or something so I'm not 100% stupid all the time. Okay, uh, things I won't need for this. I shouldn't need an axe. I might need a pickaxe. Uh, I will need the hammer. I will not need these. Just thinking outside the box, and I obviously don't need these. Let's put the knife back here. I won't need the shovel either. So we're good right there. All right. Let's go get a splint on real quick. So I don't have to worry about that. Running around with a freaking... Uh, running around with a busted leg, because that's the way I roll. Pretty sure I have a splint somewhere. I don't know why I always go around the boxes. Uh, nothing there. Ah, there they are. Knew I'd need one eventually. Okay, put that back. Thank you. It's just not a JD game without a busted ass leg. You know, it just really isn't. Yeah. And uh, I think after Horde Night. I'll see about tearing apart that, uh, opening up the uh, spikes for business. All right, I think we're just gonna go out and look for goldenrod, like right over here. We're just gonna grab, I think we need like 60. I think that's the count, so this is gonna take a while. But it gives us the opportunity to kill a bear or something like that if it gets in my way. But I do need this. Because we'll just start planting the seeds and then I can get our uh, tea up and running again. Thought I heard something. Doesn't help that my neighbors have their music on upstairs. So I can hear a low thump in the background, which isn't good. We can also check out some best girls out here. I have literally decided, I, I, I might work on it this weekend, but I I need to redo the banner on my YouTube channel. Cause I, come on, guys. You know, I just threw that together one day with uh, MS Paint or something like that. Just threw it together. But I definitely uh, want my logo to be uh, a tree stump best girl i don't know why it just stuck with me it's i've been calling tree stumps best girl for so long and i'm like it's just kind of the thing i want that to be my logo i don't know why it resonates with me maybe because i'm stupid but <laughs> yeah i was thinking about that i was like man that is such a good idea. All right, I thought I saw something moving. Oh, uh, yeah, I see him. Tweaky's down there. I saw him. Sounds like there's more than one. But I did see Tweaky when I... Oh, shit. Okay, I know where I am. Another freaking cave right here. Oh, this is where I killed the bear. Okay, let's go ahead and mark that off sure we know there's a cave here so i don't go barreling ass around here all right that means there's probably another bear they tend to spawn around caves so i should really pay attention to the various rocks that might be getting up and moving hello best girl uh, they can't all give me great stuff huh yes tweaky how are you today oh you're not tweaky you're just regular moron Yeah, more scrap iron. Good. Thank you. All right, I'm going to give the cave a, a little bit of a berth. Just kind of not hang around the cave, you know. At least not, not on purpose. There's another one up here. Uh, it's, hello, Arlene. How are you? 
Do a flip. Bad girl. Bad girl. Thank you for the level, by the way, and I'll take the food. Thank you. Gentleman and a scholar. That's right. I called her a gentleman. I don't care. It's 2024. She can be what she wants. All right. Where the rest of the yellow crap at? Where are we at? Oof, not even there yet. Not even there yet. Okay. Well, links I go to to grab some freaking seeds, right? But I do want these to be. Uh, are these a one-one ratio as well? When you plant them, are they one-one? That was the shadows. Um, I asked because if I plant them and I harvest them, it's just going to be a never-ending thing. I would assume they're not. Not a one-one ratio. I would assume they're not. Thereby making an ass out of you and me. Hello. Damn it. Best girl. You're not me. But that's kind of my thing. I'm definitely going to get around, see what I can find for a, uh image of a tree stump and do a little... Do a little transformative on it. Get that JD sense. I even got a tag tagline for it. But I, I've been meaning to take uh, spruce up the YouTube channel for a while. But I'm not artistically inclined, and I'm not paying somebody to do it because I ain't making no money on this thing. So what money am I going to use to pay you with? No, no, we're good. When we get bigger, we'll worry about paying people to do crap on the channel. Right now. This is all me, baby. Oh, we got over here. We got <laughs> Twisted Sister over here. How you doing? She's departed. Well, she is now. Departed twice over. How do you like them apples? All right. Once again, I think 60 would work, and then we'll see where we're at from there. What am I at? 46. So another 14. We'll just go with 60, That's probably a little bit more. Probably a little bit more than that. Also, why all of a sudden are there no, ah, oh, there they are. It's like, why all of a sudden can't I find any? Oh, look, a deer. If I can get a shot on him. Don't come back this way. Don't come back this way. Stop. Oh, you little bastard. Got him. He just started coming right towards me. I'm like, bro, could you, like, not do that? I don't know. So don't kill the dirt. All right. I was low on meat, so I figured it might be time to snatch, snag some meat. Yeah, it's almost 11 p.m. Come on, guys. Uh, 11 a.m. Let's uh, let's try and finish this up, huh? Shall we? I might just take this last group and just turn them into seeds and head back over there. You know, uh, well, I might hit my goal. You never know. I don't know if I'll hit my goal. I'll get close, and then we'll work from there. And like I said, the second second half of the day is literally El Fixo, El Broco, Ford Beso. Yeah, I totally butchered that, sure. Oh, cotton. Cotton, I'm picking cotton over here. All right, what you got? Damn it, best girls. As soon as I decide to make you my new mascot, uh, my, my freaking call, you know, call sign in the game, what do you do? You don't put out. You know, I diss him, I diss him, but I'll, I'll open one up on a whim. It'll be a couple of med kits and some honey and something good. And, uh, they treat me right. They treat me right. Sometimes they're lazy. Sometimes they're lazy and mean, and it, mean, and it didn't look like I actually, oh. 69. Nice. Anyways, uh, seeds it is. Turn those in. All right, let's make it, uh, make our way back to towards the base. 
Uh, we'll leave whatever's left. And I'm going to assume I, plant, I put enough uh, fertilizer in there. I'm not going to worry about the fertilizer anymore. I'm really not. I'm kind of done with the fertilizer deal. It was a pain in the ass to do at first. I shouldn't need it ever again. If there's places that don't have uh, fertilizer, we'll worry about it later. Odd place. Yes, yes, yes. JD knows he's got the stinkies right now because he's carrying meat. I know these things. I don't care. There's the best girl up there I'm probably got already, I would assume. No, there's it's golden rod around it, so maybe I didn't. I would assume I didn't miss the golden rod. No, I didn't get this one. Best girl. Well, you know, I didn't need it, but I could have used it, I guess. Also, it was weird seeing a deer this close to base. Usually, I don't see them this close to base anymore. What's in this? Uh, pills. You know me. I'll sell the pills. That's free money. I don't use pills. They make you thirsty, but definitely sell them. Oh, somebody left trash right here, too. People are horrible about the... Uh, People, uh, you people were horrible about the environment. This is why you all got nuked. Or, yeah, I guess they did. Were they nuked around it? Doesn't make any sense. Sure. They did something. I don't know what the backstory lore is, but they nuked around it at least. All right, let me drop off everything I can drop off that I don't need, which is basically the feathers, the meat, and this crap. All right, let's take these uh, seeds out. Start planting them, and then we'll log on to the next episode and go to town on the stuff. Because the next episode is not super long. It's usually short. Because I need to uh, just... Actually, before I do that, let me grow... i just got to remember not to run down that hill, even though I do it. I should go grab the wooden spikes because I probably need to replace them. A few of them. They probably did some damage somewhere. Damn, I'm going to end up end ending this episode before I even make it to the farm because I forgot something. But it shouldn't take too long to plant stuff. All right, let me uh, grab these out of here. It should be all I need. There we go. Here we go. There we go, Peter. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I was thinking uh, I could fight a Horde Knight from here, but I'm like, eh, I don't want to. Again, I always have the option, too, of going in my work base and just going in the mine and ignoring whatever the hell they send at me. It doesn't matter. I won't have that option when we go to the uh, new version. Uh because they can dig down. <laughs> they can't dig down right now. So, let's go to town here. Let's go ahead and put this back up. So anybody wanders in. And let's go ahead and throw these in here. Let's plant these bad boys up, or at least start. I'll see how many I get when, I, uh, when these grow. Okay, now. Quite sure why you didn't want to go there. Okay. What the hell? Okay, right here? No? Not happening? How about right here? No? Okay. I hate that I can't purchase press a button. It doesn't work. I know it, uh, the video is over. Oh, why not there? Why not there? Or there? Why? Why you be be like that? I want one in finally. Being annoying. The only thing I could think of is I probably punched it or something, and now it's like, oh, it's not a full block. It's like, whatever. It's full enough. 
Yeah, right there. It's a little bit annoying to get something in. Okay. Let's get the last of these. Yeah, again, just weird sometimes. It doesn't want to hit certain places. Come on. Right there, right there. Thank you. I was going to say no. No, not happening. No matter what, not going to happen. All right. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. My name is JD Sensei. This is Seven Days to Die Valencia. If you like the video, leave that like. If you haven't subscribed, please do consider doing so. I do upload every day. Have a great day, guys. I'll catch you in the next vid. Bye now.